the eBay convention. That me and Nick went to that you said was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. No one goes to the eBay convention. Rally Roots went to the eBay convention, so that obviously All right, means well, it's important. Was it a waste of money? No. What money. Steven learned at the convention was that you could sell internationally. Rally Roots, do you think eBay convention was a waste of money? Leave in the comments down below if you guys think that the eBay convention in Las Vegas is a waste of money. I think it was like, how much was it? $600? Don't worry about it. $600? Then you also have to pay for the, does that include the flight? No. No. So we're actually off to the thrift store. Steven invited me. Well, we kind of invited each other. He's like, hey, what are you doing today? I'm like, I might go to the thrift store if you want to go because I'm going to ride my bike there. I actually got an electric bike, but I still have to tweak it a little bit. But we're at Goodwill. Hopefully find some good stuff. I need some inventory. He needs some inventory. Derek Rose. Knicks. We've got a Mets blank baseball jersey. This is all kids' jerseys. We have a Perry Ellis America. This one's $3, but vintage and it's like embroidered on the pocket. It's pretty cool. And we have this Disneyland for $2. It's brand new with tags. Favorite fun for 15 bucks. We have the vintage 90s Miami Heat bomber jacket or like big puffer jacket. Probably like $60. The thing's in like mint condition. Arsenal jersey has a little stain right there. This is size large for $5. Probably get like $25, $30 for that. We have a blank striped tee. Definitely a little bit older. It might be like early 2000s. But I do really well with striped tees. So I haven't been filming too much. We did go to another couple thrift stores. This is Thrift Sense. But these shorts, Life's a Beach, Surf Gear, Vintage Made in USA. Size large for $2. And I only found two. One sold for $30 and one sold for $100. Probably from like the 80s or 90s. I'm gonna put them for $100 and then put our best offer. But I doubt I'll get that for it. I'm hoping that after this whole storm cloud blows over while I'm in Goodwill, then it will be clear skies for my rest of my thrifting. I have to stand underneath this little tent in front of Goodwill because they don't open up for another like five minutes. But hopefully we find something dope because if not, I'm gonna be getting rained on and it won't be worth it at all. First find, we have this vintage starter size extra large. It's $7, so I'm gonna pass on it. If it was maybe like three or $4, I would pick it up. It does have a really cool spell out on the sleeve, but $7, probably sell for 20. It's not really worth the flip after the fees and probably an offer of like 15 bucks. I only found something to pick up. $3 for the youth size Jameis Winston jersey. I believe that's what number he was and then this one looks real but i think it's a women's which is not bad it's only three dollars it's size small we got neymar jr 2014 brazil jersey in the women's section we found this new york yankees pink jersey i don't know it's pretty cool i like the colorway it does have a couple small snags and wear on it but for four dollars size medium maybe like 25 bucks look at this glue master thing it looks so sick it's like a glue gun but like you just like dip it in i'm not sure six dollars though so i'm just starting looking at the jerseys actually i see one more down here maybe yes i do what the hell is this it's like a ferrari jersey puma i am not sure that's a pretty cool one though i don't know what the hell that is is this like a racing jersey oh it's a brazil jersey so we got two brazil jerseys this might even be a brazil team also someone donated their entire brazil collection i'll have to look up that jersey i know i've seen this one before there's a new rack right there too so i'll have to go over there and look at that six dollars for this brazil jersey probably sell for 25 30. this one's four dollars probably get like the same 30 bucks and then this one maybe a little bit more i'm not sure what player that is or if it even is a player might be a racer looks like yellow tag is just being put out found two vintage single stitch t-shirts we got las vegas and we have st louis missouri pretty cool both 99 cents this one's dated 89 and this one's probably 80s as well soccer jersey oh i can't remember the team i just had it in my head and now i lost it the inside tag looks pretty good i don't know about this tag this one might have been like faded off but that looks kind of weird so it was a holland dutch jersey and it is real five bucks probably sell for like 20 25 bucks 2015 2016 jersey and then that t-shirt's for myself i haven't looked through the white shirts yet so maybe we'll find something else does anyone recognize that face right there you ready for it d j Khaled, birthday bash 2009 Yo, this shirt is so hard. Probably size extra large or 2XL. We got $1.99. I survived DJ Khaled's birthday bash 2009. Yo, this thing is so dope. Oh my God, that doesn't look like DJ Khaled at all. If this shirt was vintage, I bet it would be like a $50 shirt. You got the liquid blue, $2.99. You got Monty Python's Flying Circus. This thing looks so dope, but it's definitely new at I'm gonna pick it up because I think I'd get like 20 bucks for it. But if it was vintage, this thing would be so sick. By the way, guys, here's the new electric booty and it is half off 
everything except for red tags. This is the Boca Raton thrift store. We got the Harley Davidson for half off. And it's a cop for sure. Should be able to bring me like 80 bucks. But let's hope we can find some good stuff. It's half off everything. So we have this Sade reprint. Looks pretty cool for $3. Probably sell for like 15, 20. These ones are maybes. We got the Dry Fit Miami Dolphins and Dry Fit UM. Then we have a vintage 90s for $3. The Hard Rock London. Pretty cool. It's like the original store. We have this as a kid's size, but I'm thinking I'm just going to rip off the tag and make it a men's small. And this is only $2. It's pretty sick too with the sleeves. We have the Stussy shirt or Stussy Stussy $1. This was actually in the kids section. Stussy shirt, probably like 20 bucks. So here's just like a quick comparison to my other bike, which is the 29 inch Mongo booty. Now we have the electric booty and this one's only 26 inch rims and as you guys can see the handlebars are way lower than that one is and the whole bike is way lower all right daisy i'm gonna go bye bye we're gonna go to the thrift store i'll see you later all right guys so i got the u-lock on there but i also have this rope lock i forgot to mention so you lock up around a tree and then it has the u-lock around the frame first stop is thrift hut but thrift hut 50 percent off today they usually have really good discounts here Alrighty, we got some single stitch shirts we got Jimi Hendrix with some other people on it. I don't know who the other people are. I'm sorry to offend you guys. Then we have this one with like an all over print dragon. It has 94 Midwest. She said $5 each. These things are cool. I don't know if it's from like a band or anything. Looks cool though. It has a dragon wrapped around a skull. It's like a Kanye West type of vibe. And they're both size extra large. Guys, I might have to pick this up. So crazy. She said a thousand bucks. Maybe I'll save up some money and make an offer. It's so crazy. This would be so sick though. All right, guys. Looks like we have 50 seconds. I right, gotta wait till it swings in that direction. Don't. Now. It didn't even close. It didn't even close. Well, that was fun. These are the cops so far. We have a Chris Chambers jersey, Reebok, size medium, and those usually go for about 20 bucks. Then we have a Joey Porter jersey. This is size probably 2XL. This thing's pretty big. That one's a maybe. That one has a little bit of cracking. This one's brand new with tags. We have the Columbia jersey from 2017, and it's size extra large for $5. Has a little bit of stains on the back. We have a Nike UM jersey, size medium. It's stitched in. I believe the guy's name is Harris. That's number 12. Can't remember his first name right now. We have a 1997 Jiffy Lube shirt for 99 cents. This one's pretty sick. We got Buffalo, still sucks. And then the fans are still FU. Middle fingers so you got like the Miami Dolphins colors and we have the surf style half zip windbreaker pretty cool it's pretty faded and worn you know surf style always sells this will probably sell for like 30 bucks maybe 25 and the blue colorway is really dope it's probably like one size fits all yep and it's six dollars it might be worth it for a dollar let's see Mazda Mazda speed this one might be a pickup I'm not sure if someone will pay 15 bucks for it or if it'll just go to someone for like five dollars eventually but one dollar into five dollars is still money it's too bad this jacket has all these stains on it got a polo ruffler in zip up i usually get like 25 bucks for these make it ask if i get a discount maybe because it has so many stains they usually are pretty firm made in usa polo ruffler in size extra large really dope vintage fsu polo shirt crazy striping on this thing with the embroidered patch right there it's a size large i doubt it's worth that much money but since i'm an fsu fan i might cop it for myself it's it's probably gonna be like four dollars maybe five but totally worth it this thing is so sick definitely 90s a couple small scuffs we have the polo ralph lauren with the double ponies i usually call it big pony but he's got the big double ponies custom fit size extra large number three embroidered on the sleeve it's probably gonna be like four or five bucks and i sell these all day pretty quickly for 20 to 25 dollars fsu piece will probably i'll keep it for a while wear it and then eventually sell it probably for like 20 bucks what's up guys so we're locking up the electric booty over here obviously you guys could see this crazy bandage thing on my neck. I did have like a tiny little bit of skin cancer and they had to remove it. It's nothing bad, don't freak out. Uh, they cut it out. Now I have this giant ass bandage on my neck. It's really annoying. What color is it, Lucy, green? It's so green. Okay, everything but green. But yeah, it doesn't look like I'm seeing much here. Maybe some, some big guy came yesterday and bought a bunch of stuff. Here we got LeBron James. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's only three bucks. It's stitched in, size medium, Adidas for $3. I might grab that. Maybe sell for like 15, 20 bucks. We got one fine so far. It's nothing crazy though.